Slave City family, what is up? It is Bobby. I have entered Subway because we're going to continue the fast food review series and a lot of people have asking for me to come here and break down the menu. Well, I actually have some really good news. Subway is a lot more solid and healthy than I thought. If you know how to order the menu and choose the right bread, the right meat, the right topping, you could actually get a pretty good nutrient dense sandwich. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to order a bunch of the most popular sandwiches and toppings and tell you if you come to Subway, what to order, what to avoid and why because it's all about helping you put the best quality stuff in your body um, before we get rocking and rolling like subscribe share spread that flave city love it's the only way the channel keeps growing um, it's very quiet here i have to find someone to place an order and then we'll get rocking and rolling all right we've ordered all the sandwiches i wanted to get and you'll be happy to know overall subway is actually better than i expected and there are some really solid menu choices we might as well start with the best and it's right here check out this sandwich bread this is a steak sandwich, but it's on the best bread here. It's on the flat grain. It's on the flatbread artisan grain bread. It smells really good. They warmed it in the oven, kind of perfumed the air with that aroma. I got the red onions on there, so I got to try a bite. Oh, yeah. Mmm. That's a solid sandwich there. Wow. And the reason why I'm calling this best sandwich here is because the filling, the steak, is one of the better things, but... If I break out my notes, which by the way, there's a million things on the subway note here. I put my printer to the test. There's two bread choices that are far better than anyone else. One of them is the flatbread artisan. The other one is right here. It's the nine grain wheat. And I'm going to go with the artisan flatbread because it's made with whole wheat flour. Every other bread that's made with the Italian bread, Italian urban cheese, um, all of them are made with enriched wheat. You don't want that, you want whole wheat. But what really got me here, it has rye grains, oat grains, flax grains, millet, teff. These are all complex carbohydrates that if you eat grain, this is the kind of stuff you want. It does have a touch of soybean oil, but if you compare that to the Italian white bread or almost any other bread on the sandwich besides the nine grain wheat, which I have here, it's night and day. So get a bread that has complex carbohydrates this, in my opinion, the flatbread artisan is where it's at. But if you look at why I chose the steak, it's because unlike stuff like the cold cut combo, which I'll get to in a minute, the steak has basically just a few ingredients. It's seasoned beef. I'm sure the seasoning has a little bit of cornstarch and sugar and everything, but there's no nasty um, MSG. There's no nasty preservatives here. It's actually pretty solid. The key, my friends, is when you're navigating the uh, protein options here at Subway, is to get whole cuts of meat. So steak, good. Turkey, good. Ham, good. Chicken, good. Like, not even good. Surprisingly, really good. When you get to stuff like cold cut combos and turkey bologna, that's where it gets a little scary. So this sandwich with any of those whole meats I said is good to go. And you'll see I chose cheese, mayonnaise not the light mayonnaise the regular mayonnaise and onions that's because when you start to get to some of the toppings which i'll go over in a second it could get a little dicey but the mayonnaise is made basically with soybean oil like every other fast food one is but rest of the ingredients are totally fine so for my money i'm going steak sandwich on the artisan flatbread here for the win but back in the day before i was woke right i used to come here and get this check it out brad the cold cut combo you can even just look at the meat. Something looks awry there. It doesn't look quite right. I got uh, tomatoes, red onions. I got the uh, cheddar cheese there. I got the banana peppers too on the bottom. And I got pickles, which by the way, you probably don't want to get those. And I'll tell you why in a second, but let me try this sandwich. Mmm, brings back memories. Wow. Used to be my go-to back in the day when they had $5 foot longs. I'm pretty sure. Do they have that anymore, bro? Five dollar footlongs and Jared. Those are our things of the past, right? Jared, that's probably a good reason he's in the past though. <laughs> Cold cut combo. Number one, I got it on the Italian cheese bread. Like I said, the Italian bread, there's too many notes here, I'm getting lost already here. There we go. The Italian bread is made with enriched wheat flour unlike the flatbread or the nine grain, which has whole wheat. So if you were gonna get a cold cut, something I don't recommend, get it on the nine grain. You're starting off a little bit better there. But cold cut combo is a combination of turkey bologna, turkey salami, and turkey ham. It's these like Franken meats of kind of going together. Not good. Turkey bologna is made from mechanically separated turkey. 
those are the less than prime or opt op optimal like cuts of turkey that you have to mechanically separate it from the ligaments and the bones. Sodium erythrobates, sodium nitrates, chopped informed meat, more erythrobates, super low quality ingredients. You'll find a really, really cheap turkey meat. You don't want that. I also got the banana peppers and the pickles here. For some reason, those are the two worst toppings here. The other ones are 100% fine, but the pickles, like we've noticed in every other fast food joint, always have polysorbate number 80 and sodium benzoate. Two really nasty preservatives, so pickles at every fast food place are an out. And the banana peppers also have polysorbate 80, natural flavors, and sodium uh, metabisulfite. So get the other stuff, the cucumbers, the peppers, the jalapeno slices, the lettuce, don't get that. So cold cut combo is out. Um, let's go on to another healthy choice, which would be the turkey. Before I do, I don't wanna forget, we gotta give a shout out to my friends over at Seed, right? I've been talking about Seed for a few months now. A bunch of Flav City fans have been trying it and they're loving it. Seed is a probiotic. In my opinion, it's the best one on the market. If you're eating a lot of fast food and stuff, you might need some health when it comes to gut health. The problem is most of the ones you buy at the store die in your stomach. The stomach acids kill the probiotic before they can get through your colon, to uh, through your intestines to your colon. Seed actually is called a symbiotic. The outer capsule is the only thing that dissolves in your tummy. And because it's made of pomegranates, it has fiber, which feeds your gut bacteria. But the inner capsule makes it through your intestine to your colon and delivers 24 strains of probiotic bacteria that are not only good for gut health, they're really good for bowel movements. They're really good for skin, for immune system. I've been taking this now for, I don't know, four or five months. Everyone I've turned on to it is loving it. And I got the promo code for you guys. When you click my link in the description box and use my promo code, you'll get 15% off your first month's supply. It ships around the world and it's 30 days risk free. So if you don't love it, you can get your um, your fee back. But I'm telling you, you're gonna love this. It's a game changer. It's totally worth it. Try it out using my link. Okay, let's go to this. This looks like a sandwich worthy of a commercial. Look at that. This is a turkey sandwich on the nine grain bread. I got mayonnaise, I got, I just paid extra. I got the guacamole or the avocado and I got the green spinach. This is top notch quality. I gotta try it out first though. I want the best bite here. Less bread, I'd probably actually remove one of the. Mmm, -hmm. that's my fish bun. I also put a little squirt of vinegar on there, which is one of the better toppings, but check this out. So my notes are getting completely destroyed here, but. I got this sandwich on the nine grain bread. Just like the flatbread artisan, it's made with whole wheat flour. Whole wheat superior to an enriched wheat. Maybe doesn't have as many high quality grains and seeds, but still it has rye, oats, flaxseed, millet, sorghum. That's winning to me compared to the other ones that have the enriched wheat. The turkey, here, it's turkey breast. I was expecting to see tons of no, uh, horrible ingredients there. I don't really see any. I see. 2% of less of sodium phosphate and natural flavor browned in soybean oil. It's fast food, I kind of expect that. I think over the years, Subway has actually made their ingredients better. I know um, my friend, the food babe, Bonnie, petitioned to get an ingredient in the bread removed that was also used in um, yoga mats. But to be honest, the meat is actually way cleaner than I think if you get real meat, steak, turkey, ham, even the tuna salad is super high quality. Um, and for toppings, you wanna get the vegetables other than banana peppers and other than pickles. Spinach, tomatoes, olives, onions, those are the real ones, the other ones have preservatives. But I got guacamole on this because it's Haas avocados with jalapeno puree. There is zero preservatives in there and I want that good saturated fat. You get the regular mayonnaise because the light one will have more sugar. Sure, it's soybean oil based, but there's no other bad ingredients in there. And I got a little splash of red wine vinegar just to bring out the acid in there. This is a great sandwich. I would get that. I would get the steak sandwich. Get the two best breads with the whole meats, not the turkey bologna and the turkey sausage, all those Franken meats. Um, we asked the manager here which one is the most popular, and they said this is a very popular one. This is chicken bacon ranch. The bacon looks a little, the whole sandwich looks a little sad, doesn't it, Brad? Uh, yeah. That does not look so, so exciting. She did ask if I want to toast the bread, and I said, don't even bother. Maybe that would have made a difference. I need a bite of everything in one here. You know what? It tastes better than it looks. The sauce. Mmm. 
at ranch sauce, I'll tell you what soup options are really good here. Hold on a second. So the chicken part, I don't mind. It's the same kind of chicken they put on the other sandwiches that are whole meat. That's not bad. The bacon, my notes have never been more disorganized. What kind of investigative journalist am I, Brad? I'm gonna lose my uh, Pulitzer Prize over this. Sodium nitrates, phosphates, erythrobates. The problem is in the sauce, the ranch sauce. Here we go. Soybean oil based, who cares, right? Because my mayonnaise for my sandwich was two. Polysorbate 60, sodium benzoate, potassium sorbate. Really nasty preservatives in that ranch sauce. And by the way, all the cheeses for the sandwich are totally fine. They're actually legit cheeses. So I would skip that and I would go with the ones I talked about before. Once again, the bread for the chicken bacon ranch is your enriched bread, no good. Um, and if you do wanna get a soup, I have 12 pages of notes here. Here we go. If you wanna get a soup here, either the Mediterranean vegetable, which they didn't have, or the tomato basil are by far the winners. The Mediterranean vegetable, which I wish they had, is actually cooked in olive oil and extra virgin olive oil. There's no other oils in there. That's crazy. Because most will have soybean oil and stuff like that. And the tomato basil soup actually has no oil at all. And every ingredient is actually super solid, especially for fast food. Subway's not really using any MSG at all. They're not using super nasty ingredients. They're not using anti-foaming agents like Chick-fil-A and Burger King and McDonald's and Wendy's. Overall, I'm pretty impressed. If you pick the right bread, the whole grain ones, and pair it with whole meats, once again, like the roast beef, the corned beef, the chicken, the turkey, not the Franken meats, you're good to go, right? Not a $5 foot long, but I'm still loving it. Uh, that's it. Pop on down to a Subway. Next time you know what to order, where to next. And we wanted to go to Burger King, but they won't tell you the ingredients. It's proprietary, so that's a problem. Uh, but leave some more suggestions down below. Uh, that's it. Thank you to the Subway for being very accommodative and pretty much having it to ourself. Uh, but we will see you soon. Until then, hashtag keep on cooking. Mad love. Peace. Later, guys.